Good evening, everyone, and happy Friday to you. The weekend has begun. How is everybody doing? Just going to hang out in the street and get run over by a car. There is a nice one right there. Hmm. Okay, where is that license plate from? Iowa? Okay, that's interesting. How is everybody doing? Oh, Super Vegito! How are you doing? And Thomas, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I saw some other names there earlier. Like, for instance, Mike Lenz, how are you doing? I saw Penny Girl earlier. I saw, and of course, Mr. Shoes. We saw Mr. Shoes pop his head in there for a moment. Uh, Joseph Hacker, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Sari, how you doing? Glad you could make it. By the way, I am sorry about Wednesday. For some reason, I had a bit of a, a cough in the like uh, late afternoon going into the evening. As a matter of fact, if you you listen to the video that I put out, uh, the, um, the, the, the Planet Crafter one, at the end, my voice is kind of straining a bit, and I did cut out some coughing out of that. So it sounds a little bit weird towards the end. Yeah, I saw Mega before, but I don't know if he's still out there. It's always pizza night. It's always pizza night. But we're here now, and of course we're doing this because, um, well, because the, it won the poll, didn't it? So we'll definitely do this. I don't know, maybe Monday we'll do some uh, House Flipper. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little concerned about the views on that one. We'll do another one tomorrow, and then I'll decide if it's basically getting relegated to uh, to, to uh, basically live streaming. It's, it's probably got some problems. I think it's my fault, too. I think I sh that last episode, I probably shouldn't have done that because it was like just painting and then cleaning. It really wasn't anything new. So I think maybe I should do those on the side and do the new things in videos. So that's what we're going to do. Lisa, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. All right. So anyway, the store is ready for the day. You'll notice we're very heavily packed up here, as you can see. And I have been working on the storage. You can see there's a lot of things in here. So basically, this is the main area here where you can see over here and over here. And you can see that I'm pretty well stocked up over here, too. I mean, if you look at the, the salmon, I got 40 of those. And then the, the moussaka or what, mousaka or up, up here, we got uh, 20 of those. Basically, check out all the pizza. Check out, And this, is, of course, is the juice. Check out the juice. So I'm trying to get a pattern down. Got the toilet paper sitting over here. I bought one too many. So as soon as a spot opens up, I got to put it over here. Uh, you have it when you just do house flipping jobs. Well, we'll see. I mean, there's a couple of good construction ones coming up. Uh, we'll see about doing that. I think one was building a bathroom and the other one was doing something else. So we'll see. I'm just thinking maybe they have to be interesting and I should do the uninteresting one. I mean, let's face it. One of them, one of them was just painting. I mean, that was literally all it was. There may have been a socket or two or something like that. But, I mean, that's basically all it was. And, I mean, that can be a little boring to watch. So, I was actually debating, should I have taken that out and tried another job or something like that? And, of course, the other one was cleaning again. So, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that kind of thing might work better on a stream. Take the jobs that are, were not so interesting and do it that way. Ashlyn, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Anyway, there is a problem I have been having. I don't know if anybody else who's playing this game has had the problem. Yeah, sometimes one of these guys will get stuck. And by stuck, the last time it happened, I had a guy down here just looking this way. Now, you could say, well, maybe he was actually thinking that there was an opening there and he could go through. The thing is, I had another one stuck here like that. And I literally took everything off the shelf to see maybe there was some kind of a product thing 
that was sticking him. But I couldn't figure it out. And the only way I could get out of it was to save the game, go back to the menu, and then come back. Because even ending the day doesn't reset them. Kitty Lover, 1597, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, you finished watching the House Flavor video, and I am just starting the Planet Crafter series. It looks interesting. Well, I have done Planet Crafter before, but I haven't started from scratch for a while. So, but fortunately, I do have the food going now. I don't think it was a problem in the infected video. Uh, it could have been. It could have been. Maybe I just wasn't noticing it. Um, maybe I was, my throat was just getting a little bit dry and scratchy at that time. But, I mean, definitely the uh, the end of the Planet Crafter video, I was having problems because I was actually cutting out coughing. And then I was scratchy afterwards. And I was actually straining to get through the, the end, a little end, without having to stop and, uh, you know, clear my throat or something like that. Rotate the racks. I did rotate the racks. The racks are fine. Look, the, these guys are all facing each other, right? These guys are all facing each other so I can do this. And over here, these guys are all this way. And I have a toilet rack. This is a toilet paper rack over here. So there is some more things I can put in. I can put one in there. I can put one here. And I can put two over here. So we can just go around this way. I could probably also put one over here. Um, I'm thinking in the end, though, more space is going to be good. But, I mean, I do have space at the moment. I have these three racks which are completely empty, I can put, like I said, I can put more here. I can put three more racks in and then put a fourth one over here. But then again, there's going to be a lot of products in the future. Oh, Mr. Shoes is here. How are you doing? Glad to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Ashlyn, been good. Watched you since 2020. Uh, great work. Keep it up. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Planet Crafter is amazing. I love watching you play that. Uh, it was my first PC game of yours that I watched. I, it's a good game. I like it. I mean, the last couple of updates, you know, I didn't like the trading system thing, you know? So, you know, if it gets to that point, I'm just going to kind of avoid it because, I mean, I think that's just a weird grind. I mean, I don't mind grinding to improve the planet, but grinding to get trade items to sell them, I just don't like that idea at all. You made the islands wider in between each section. It would be easier for them to turn around with the box. I don't think it makes any difference. You know, they can do it, but I mean, sometimes they just get broken. That's the problem. They just get broken. So I am hoping in the future, maybe we can get some more room over here. All right. Well, let's get going because we are, uh, we're all set. Everything is packed in and I have a lot of extra stuff. I have been working on a system to a degree. Uh, as you can see here, this is like the bleach area here, but uh, they did do some emptying. This is the coffee and tea area over here. You can see I got supplies backed up. Uh, this is the pasta area. We're we got some extra stuff. Pretty good here. Uh, this is flour. We got flour over here and up here. I have a couple of things that are not going to be refilling. I took them out of that area and I scattered them around. Like this is the hot sauce and this is that stuff that was in one of the freezers. I don't even remember the name of it. And um, we're just going to leave that there out of the way. I got cereals down below. I just noticed that the honeybees emptied out. And then I'm hiding the water down there. But I have the good sodas here. And you can see I got a good amount of them here. I have the juices here. And I'm hiding stuff over there. And then I have basically kind of freezer stuff over here. See, I got the, um, the pizzas. And I got the french fries. And I got a lot of the salmon. And I got the moussaka or moussaka or whatever it is. I have crab sticks up there. The chicken is down below. Basically, I'm trying to work on a, a pattern. The last time I restocked, I basically restocked in here. And that's kind of what I want to do. I don't want to run around the store, if you know what I mean. All right, let's just do this. Because I'm probably going to be sitting around watching. And I got to tell you, I'm leaning heavily on getting another restocker. 
because it just takes them a long time to do anything. Oh, and hi to everybody else. Oh, Solomon, how you doing? I missed you there. Thanks for stopping by. And Benon, also, thank you for coming by. I am doing very well. I had a little bit of a, a throat issue on Wednesday, which is the reason I kind of skipped the uh, the stream on Wednesday. But um, doing fine now. You know, I'm thinking that I might just buy the stocker now because if I wait, it's going to become a problem. Because once the people, like towards the end of the day, are grabbing everything, uh, that's when they just can't keep up anymore. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a stocker. By the way, I am up to date on everything, the bills and such. That's all up to date. And of course, we're waiting for level 56 in order to uh, be able to get more product licenses. So I do believe, yes, I have enough racks. As a matter of fact, if I get one more rack, I could get another restocker. But we're not going to do that. We're going to hire this person. There we go. Okay, and they're going to work now, all of them. Hopefully nobody gets stuck. All right, hopefully they can keep up on the situation here. All right, so let's see. Okay, we got kegs, but I got extra kegs inside. Look, he's waiting for somebody else to jump in there. Did you see that? That's very strange. I like the house flipping series. I like playing house flipper. I like playing planet crafter. I'm hoping I can continue doing that. We'll see. I'll do enough. I'm going to do at least uh, probably one or two more house flipper. And I'm going to do... More than that in terms of the uh, Planet Crafter for now. I think increasing the size of the room is a bigger priority than just another rack. Okay, which one do you mean? You mean this room that we're in right now? Because it is just way too expensive to even imagine at the moment. I mean, I, I think that I'm going to be getting the... Um, uh, level 57 and opening up the new um, the new what's the names at the same before they would uh, before I would be expanding the store because it's just way too expensive to expand the store and I just can't generate that kind of money unless I get new products that will give me good profit how is this doing over here yeah they're really buying these things I really think I should increase the price how are we doing? Okay, the toilet paper is good. Okay. All right, everything seems to be going well. And my restockers are doing a good job. It's been getting busy. I've been getting, I, I have gotten 80 people in a day. Uh, how about playing more demos or prologues? Oh, demos or prologues. I'm, th I'm thinking about that. I was actually sent a key to something that's going to be... Is it already available? I don't think it's something you can make any videos for until like the 14th or something like that. So I might do that. Uh, bigger your storage room. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, look at it this way. Once I have a lot more products, um, it's going to be tight in that um, storage room, isn't it? I mean, look at it this way. So you have problems like this, where you have a one box of bleach, which takes up an entire slot. You know, not like, for instance, you look at the coffee down there, and I have three boxes of coffee down there. I have three boxes of uh, black tea over here. 
But these guys over here, just like the, uh, the kegs, they take up a full spot. So if I want two boxes of kegs, then I have to take up two entire different spots. So that's what I mean. That's kind of an issue. So I'm hoping maybe if we end up expanding, that it will expand that way too. But I mean, I do have space and I have space for more racks too. Okay, we're up to 15,491. Okay, how is the chicken doing? All right, chicken's doing good because I had four boxes in the back. Okay, you know what I want to see? Okay, these are not empty yet. You know, if there's something that these guys do that bothers me, it's basically, look at this. See, there's three in there, and there's three in there, and, and there's two there. So, in other words, they always take the box with the most in it, which means they create situations like this. I had a, um, a problem over here with the uh, juice, because I bought new boxes of juice, but I had a couple over here that had like one and two. And they just wouldn't take them. So I was basically standing over there with a box. And as soon as I saw one vanish, I just dumped it in myself. So they always, they grab the ones that have the most as opposed to the other ones. Uh, the bunker stimulator, eh, maybe. There's actually in, um, in what's the name of it? Uh, House Flipper, there's actually one for a bunker. That might be something I can do in an episode to get some views. Besides, I was reading about that uh, that demo for the uh, the one that was the same one done by the zoo guys. And apparently it crashes a lot. So I don't know, maybe that was just their hardware or something. Uh, that's something I could look at, I suppose. But there are other bunker ones too, you know. I think there's one specifically made for that. Oh, the chess dude. Hey, how you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, Gavin, why don't you try this game called No Plan B? I think I've heard of that. Why is it increasing? Probably bigger priority. Yeah, the problem is that there is no more. Well, the, the thing is, there's no way to increase the size of the uh, the storage at the moment. See, there's there's no options for that. I'll go to a second. Storage. See. That's what I mean. There is no more space. All right, hold on a second. Let me go back over to here. Because I'm going to have to start working on this. Yeah, I mean, with the three guys working the store, there's not really much I can do during the day here. I bought new ones for those, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, what are we doing? Oh, wow, they filled that up, didn't they? The tuna, I have, uh, I bought two containers of tuna. Yeah, right there, there's still nine left on that. Is anyone grabbing that? All right, well, I'm going to let them go. I'll let them handle it, because it's not an emergency. It did go pretty quickly, but it's not an emergency. All right, we're up to 17,628. So the storage room purchases are maxed out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying I would really like more space. I'm hoping that the limitation, see where it ends right there? It's ending at the edge of that store. I'm hoping that if I end up buying the next expansion, that it will expand the storage too. I'm hoping that. I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, normally it would say you have to open up the next section or something like that, you know, after you buy section, whatever it is, in the store. Um, what is this? It's a SWAT game on Steam where you have a team and use them to battle to win. Is it a multiplayer game or is it a squad-based thing? 
I mean, maybe it does get bigger. Like I said, when I expand the main store, maybe it gets bigger. I have no idea. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, please consider giving the stream a like. It helps with the visibility. All right, now we're just waiting for all of these people to um, be done here. All right, uh, so far, I mean, the milk, we got lots of... Oh, that reminds me, the milk. Right, I wanted to get rid of this one. I wanted to get rid of this one because they're not doing that. And it, it lets me free up a box space. See, that's the thing. If they have like, uh, they leave a box behind that has one in it, that means I can't put a full box there. And that's kind of annoying. It's solo, I think. Oh, okay. What was the name of the game again? Oh, you're doing better. You're not feeling good? Okay, I think they probably grabbed all of the um, the bleach. So I'm going to have to... Re yeah, actually, we still got one box down here. See, this one's got two and this one's got eight. But that's not a problem at this point. Okay, so I'm hoping these guys can work quickly. Okay, we're over 19,000. It's the restock that cost money, though. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, 19,341. I do think that we're done. All right, let's... You know, I'm not going to look over here, except maybe in here. Okay, so... Yeah, small sushi and a large sushi. I think that'd be good. Everything else is being taken care of. Uh, I need to get steak, though. Yeah, steak probably a good idea. The rest of this is pretty much being taken care of. Uh, that's good. Although I think I have to do some refills on cereal. All right. What I want to do is I want to do restock back here. You know, in other words, I'm going to see back here what I need and then I'll refill it back here. Uh, do you have all the items on the stock room currently? Uh, there's some things that I don't keep in the stock room at the moment. Like, for instance, the steak and the veal, because there's 32 of them when I buy them, and they're also very expensive individually. So the idea of stocking them up doesn't appeal to me. I mean, look, the veal costs like 325 I believe, when you buy it. So the idea of putting a couple of extra packages back here doesn't appeal to me, especially when it takes, it takes like four or five days for it to go down because people don't buy a lot of it. Let's see for a second. Oh, no plan B. Right. Okay, gotcha. You mentioned that. All right. I wrote that down on the list. Yeah, you, what, what do you do? Yeah, I just noticed that myself. Why are you retracting your messages? I just found out I have vertigo, but better today. Oh, does that, Rick, does that only affect you like on heights or what does that affect? I'm, see, I know very little about it. I'm just curious. Well, when does that affect you? I know it's like a, a terrible dizziness, but I, I don't know like the effect of what would actually cause it. Hopefully these guys don't get stuck. Okay, good. As long as they don't get stuck, I'll be happy with that. All right, I'm just going to let them do some filling here. And then we can see what's left in the uh, the back room. You know, one thing I wouldn't mind is a way to speed up time. That way they can just be running around like crazy guys and such like that.
Amar, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. All right, we're letting up. I got three stalkers now, and I'm letting them restock. Oh, are they done? Wait a minute. Nope, nope. They'd all be standing out by my bicycle if they were done. Okay, he's refilling the sugar. Weird that your messages are disappearing. Well, I'm seeing retracted. That's what I'm seeing for a couple of her messages. I'm seeing retracted. Glad to catch the stream finally. Well, we're glad to have you here. Uh, these streams are a lot more of a hangout than other ones because it's kind of low stress. So I get to look at the chat a lot more. And the graphics, but still a good game. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are not all amazing. I would guess that it's a Unity game. And the characters are definitely models that uh, they bought from a uh, from the asset store. Because I, I think I've mentioned it before, is that I've seen a bunch of them in um, uh, Drunken Bar Brawl. And that's a game that's been out for about five years. Uh, it just comes and goes, moving too fast, car fast motion, car rides. Oh, okay, so... You can get vertigo from just driving in a car or moving too fast. Oh, that's terrible. Does closing your eyes help or does it not matter at all? Maybe it's just like, it couldn't be like, a, I guess maybe they know what it is. Sometimes an in your ear issue can cause problems like that. All right. Are they stacked? Okay. They stacked everything up here. Are they nearly done? No, they're still working. See, I don't know what happens if I end the day when they're carrying a box. Does the box just kind of like vanish? Does it go back to the shelf? Okay, are you done? Okay, two. We have two that are done. Okay, they're all done. All right, so that's good. So let's start the next day. Okay, I had two satisfied customers, but I had 487 points. Explain that. I have no idea. Um, we had a great income, but uh, in terms of profit, 17, 18, I did some expensive refilling that I probably won't have to do again. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, ham went down, bottled water went down, honeybees went up, and the scallops went up. I don't care about the scallops. I do care about the honeybees. Ooh, that was a nice increase right there. Okay, so this is good. So let's think about this. I'm thinking maybe we do like 665. And I got four bucks out of that now. Now the scallops, I don't think any of the other ones were of importance to me. All right, so I think everything out here is generally ready to go. But I do want to do some restocking. See, I think they took care of everything. I do need to get sushi. So we're going to stock up a bit on the sushi. I'll get two large and one small. And I'll put them first. See, I'm keeping them here. Oh, um, do they have... Wait a minute. Yeah, right. Now it goes in there. Boom. There we go. Okay, and let me get rid of this tag. Okay, so we'll do the sushi. I think that's the only thing I really need. Then I'm just going to go back and restock. All right, one. I'll do two large sushi and one small. All right, I just want to do them quickly and get them out of the way. Um, once the spin starts, only the meds help. But they can take up to an hour to kick. Oh, my goodness. That is just terrible, Rick. I am so sorry. Uh, let's see. The next day continues with them in the same location. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. That's good information, Amar. I didn't know that. I'm going. I'm going to after the stream. This is the only stream that I've watched this week. Oh, I appreciate the 
Ashlyn, I appreciate you watching my stream then. Uh, so you're saying it's happening to comments and videos. That's really weird. No, I'm just seeing, look, I'm still seeing a lot of her, uh, Ashlyn, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a her. Um, but Ashlyn, a lot of the, the messages are like message retracted. So I don't know if you're doing that or somebody else is. Okay, so let me just grab these quickly. So I'll give them something to do. All right, that is the, that's the little one. And these are the big ones. Okay, two of them are going for the sushi. Okay, and we'll put that there. All right, I'm just gonna look around to see what I need to refill. All right, I need um, peanut butter and the Pablo. So I'm gonna get two of each because I want. I just wanna restock. Peanut butter, one, two, and then we'll do the Pab. One, two. Okay, so I got eight of those. Okay, what is this one? Oh, that's the dishwashing stuff there. All right, that's the dishwashing one. Is there anything else over here? Oh, I do need some filling in there. All right, you know what? Dish. This one, this one. Do I have the other one? Yeah, I have 13 over there. Only oh, I need more cleaner too. All right. One problem at a time. I bought two of those. Let's get the cleaner. This one here, one will do. I don't think I need anything else over there. Oh, I needed, no, I, I had enough of the, the dishwashing liquid. That wasn't a problem. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that I only had one chicken leg left. But, I mean, it's better than these. All right, ground meat. Um, I'll get two. It's expensive, but I'll get two. And then I'll get the lasagna. Just one of the lasagna. All right, let's go with this. When are you going to play the infected again? Rick, I don't know. Uh, the thing is, the infected is really not doing very well. And it's actually worse than the views because the views really aren't worth very much to begin with. I don't know. I may kick out another one this weekend, but I don't know. Uh, I'm watching it. Let's put you that way. So, I mean, I might have to start substituting things in. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm hoping, but... It's just, it's really not looking good. The last one, after a couple of days, hasn't even gotten to 300, so that's really bad. That's really bad. All right, let me just throw these things in here so they can get to it. I mean, I'd love to do it. There are things that I would love to do, but the problem is if you do things that are, you just tunnel deeper and deeper a hole for my channel. You know, unless I can try to get things that will actually perform a little bit better and then a little bit better and a little bit better. It's like that, unfortunately. All right, let's see here. Peanut butter. And let's see here. Okay, what is this? Well, it's good to know only happening in live streams and then Ashlyn. It's probably a bug or something. Yeah, I mean I'm seeing all the I'm seeing all of Ashlyn's messages being message retracted. I mean I'm looking at the screen and I see three of them right now. Sorry, my comments are disappearing. I don't know. Are you are you putting something in? The co well, hold on a second. Let me just see for a second. Hold on. Um, actually, I have to do this first, don't I? Here. Here. Let me just check this out. I mean, it's saying retracted, but it's not giving me a reason for it. 
it's as if you typed in something bad because it's giving me options of like report, uh, put user in timeout, hide user on this channel, you know, <laughs> add as a moderator. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I, I don't know. Is, is, is somebody doing something or I, I just honestly do not know. I need to get this back up on top. All right. Hold it on. There we go. All right, uh, let's see. I was grabbing this stuff. Chop meat. And this is, oh, this was the lasagna. Okay, so I need a couple of things. Oh, I'm actually out of bread too. All right, you know, I have a feeling that's probably not a problem, but what is a problem is or pseudo, or pseudo, as I've been, oh, actually, I want, yeah, I should probably get two of those. All right, what else do I need here? Um, is the ham, the ham's gone too. Ham, I'll just go with uh, two of the ham. All right, I don't need that. I don't need that one. What is at the top? I'll get the bread. One, two, and I'll do that. Okay, what else do we need over here? Oh, the cake. I should probably get the cake, and then what I'll do is I'll get a chicken legs, too. You know what I didn't check? I didn't check to see if... Um, what was the other one? The chicken legs. And then I completely forgot what the other thing I wanted was. Chicken legs. Oh, and the cake. That's it. Uh, I can't retract somebody's messages. It's not to me. I mean, I could. It didn't even give me an option of doing it. It's as if the individual is doing it themselves. That's what I was looking. I was looking to see if it was going to tell me why. But I mean, message retracted usually means the user did it. I mean, if if somebody if a moderator was to zap something or it was taken out for some other reason, I'm pretty sure there's a different message there. But I'm seeing message retracted usually means the the user did it. Right? Did I get this? I just grabbed this. I'll put that in there. You're going for the bread. You're going for the bread. Okay, so this is the ham. And this is more ham. And this is the prosciutto. Put that there. And this is the chicken wings. Is this one chicken wings too? No, this one is the cake. Hold on. There it is. Okay, that, that activated somebody. All right, so I think everything over here looks good. Let's just check the items over here. Oh, I need bleach. Yeah, I need bleach because I'm out. I mean, I'm out here. It's probably stuffed back there. It's just that uh, I'm trying to do it from this point of view now. All right, so I got the bleach. All right, how is... Okay, I'm out of green tea, at least here. I'm also, I have a problem with the dark roast. Oh, and the chips. All right, so I need the chips. I need the uh, dark roast, and I need the green tea. All 
All right, so let's get the chips. So I'll buy two boxes of each. Do I have that? Right, okay, so that's it. What have I got so far? Seven. Uh, let's go with the uh, dark roast, two of those. I don't remember. Let me just see. Oh, there was the green tea. I'll just buy one green tea because I'm pretty sure it's probably packed out there. Right. If I look out here, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, I'll look at the green tea. We got plenty of it. But I mean, I want to have it in the back. All right. We got the chips. That one goes there. And here he comes. He's going for the chips. Yes, he is. All right, what do we have here? We got the red chips. I just want to make sure everything is stocked up. The problem is if I try to do this during the day, while it's going, the, gate, the day goes so quickly that it's impossible to keep up. So that's the reason that you just saw me stand around doing nothing while the day was going. Uh, this is the bleach. The other bleach. All right, so I got a lot of bleach. Okay, you guys just standing around? All right, that's fine, as long as you don't have anything to do. Okay, nobody reacted to the, uh, the dark roast. Okay, what is the last one? Oh, yeah, more green tea. And we'll put the green tea there. Okay, nobody reacted. All right, so is there anything else? Pasta? We're still good with pasta for now. All right, how about... Oh, yeah, the flour. Oh, and also the cereals. All right, why don't we do the cereals first? How are the sugars? All right, the brown sugar is a problem. All right, so let's see here. Cereal. One, two. I think... I have one of those, but that's in two boxes. See, that's what I'm talking about. That one's got two in it, and that one's got three in it, but they're taking up the slots. I really wish they would take the one with the smallest amount of number in it. That way it wouldn't cause me problems. Kind of annoying. All right, well, there's nothing much I can do about that now. So I'm going to skip that one and stick to the others. Uh, this one here, one, two, just to make sure. Right, okay, so what else was there? Oh, yeah, the... Um, get at least one of those. And then two of uh, the blue ones. All right, I need two of the blue ones, and then one of that, one of that. All right, that'll do for now. See, this is what I mean. What I would really like to be able to do would be to walk over to this shelf and then just say, buy me replacements for this shelf. And it would get me the, the bare minimum I would need to fill up the shelf, or maybe even fill it completely. But as it is, I still have to do some eyeballing. But I'm just doing it in here now. All right, we'll put that there. And are they coming now? Nope, yeah, he is. All right, he's coming. All right, where is the honeybees? It'd be cool if they could help me with this too, you know? Putting them in the shelves. Uh, this one here. And right there. Okay, some more of this. See, there's one there with... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? See, there's one there with two. And I just put... Yeah, right. Oh, wrong one up here. Uh, there's one with three, and I just put another one up there with eight. They're going to grab the eight one. You just watch it. 
And where is it here? This one here. Okay, that's all good. I don't see any problems here. Uh, I do see chicken problems. Yeah, all of my extra chicken is gone. Candy, I don't care. Oh, I wanted to get the um, the suzu. The brown sugar. All right, we'll do two of those. And I eat chicken. Where is it? One, two, three, four. Got four chicken. I'm not sure why this is happening to me. I'm just getting, I'm just glad to be here. Okay, well, you got two messages out in a row. Uh, your restockers look like Michael Myers. Yes, they uh, very generic and very dangerous. Uh, Sula Show, wait, do you have two monitors or one? I have two. Uh, by the way, I, I put a picture of my streaming setup in the community section of my YouTube channel about a week ago, Mr. Shoes, so you can go back and look at it. Uh, one of the reasons I did that is so that you can see that if I'm looking directly at the screen that I'm playing a game, that I have to turn my head like 90 degrees to look at chat. So it, the picture is there, so you can go look at that. I promised I'd put it there, and I did. Okay, now I completely forgot what I was doing. And the chicken, was there anything else? I was going back to look to see if there was anything else. They're full. The chicken, we're getting the chicken. Okay, what is that? Is that the tuna? Oh, am I out of tuna now? Oh, the kegs. All right, I'm out, of, I'm out of kegs and I'm out of vodka. At least in the storeroom. Very important distinction. All right, so I'll just get one vodka. And then I'll get uh, two kegs. But there was something else that I noticed too. Yeah, the tuna. That's what it was. All right, I'll just get one tuna. Because I'm sure it's probably full out there. Okay, we have we have just under 16,000 and I think I'm done. And this is just basically overstocking because I'm we looked around outside and everything was fine. I'm just basically setting this up. Okay. Uh boom. You grabbing Oh, you were grabbing a chicken. So there's probably a chicken missing. All right. And we'll put the tuna over there. And this is probably going to get one of them walking. Yep, there goes the other one. All right, chicken in the back. Right, and put chicken. Okay, oh, you, already, you just put that in there. I was about to put the chicken in there, and he beat me to it. All right, kegs. Where is it? Here it is. And the vodka. This will probably get one of them moving. I I think that I think that's pretty good restocking. Like I said, I don't think we have any problems. Everything looks nice and full. I just want to make sure that we can restock easily. Okay, what's your favorite food to eat? Ah, oh, pizza, of course. Pizza, of course. What else would there be? Try out the mods for this game on Nexus Mods. Oh, are there mods for this game already? Well, I mean, I would probably be more interested in playing the vanilla version first. And then, you know, because mods are usually something you do after the fact. By the way, we can probably just start this up right now. Yeah, because we're stocked. I don't have any problems over here. Except, of course, I didn't get the uh, steak, did I? Yep. That's like one of the things that I need to manually get. 
Because, I mean, that costs $287. I'm not going to buy a lot of that. Especially considering I could just dump, you know, 32 of these guys right in here. Cheese. And it says, "How? What about what else? What, what else do you like? More cheese." You're talking to somebody who buys packages of mozzarella at the um, the grocery store just to sprinkle it on top of box pizza. Because I want more. There you go, cheese. My viewers know me well. <laughs> I think Mike was more accurate with it, though, when he had four of them. Yeah, I mean, at this point, everything is just taking place without me. It's funny because when you're running the game, it's the time where you're actually doing the least. You know, it's just all running with, okay, there you go. Okay, but Mike, that's a lot of cheese. Just saying. Well, I just said lots of cheese, but then... There's lots, and then there's what uh, Mike just did. Yeah, lots of cheese. Also, some different kinds sometimes, too, you know? Mix it up. Scatter some, like, uh, shredded cheddar or something like that in there. More cheese, good cheese. Yeah, cheese is just, it's good for everything. I and mean, there's so many different kinds of cheese... That, you know, every cheese has its own purpose, you know? You got your Swiss for sandwiches, you know, your mozzarella for other stuff. You just so many different cheeses, so many different things you can do with it. All right, let's just look around, make sure there's no problems. All right, we're all nice and packed up over here, huh? All right, everything looks good. Okay, look at all the sushi. Hello, everybody. Come by the sushi. Come get it. See, look, the tuna's all packed up now. All right, what do we got? All right, they'll, they'll, they'll be by to get it. Okay, there's one type of cheese I will never eat. It's skunk cheese. I've never heard of skunk cheese, and simply the name will keep me away from it. I mean, there's some cheeses that don't smell good, but if they went to the trouble to call it skunk cheese, then absolutely no. Wish there was a pizza pie emoji, but only pepperoni. Would you eat moldy breeze for one? Okay, well, moldy cheese. A lot of cheese is moldy by... Um, um, because that's what it is. It depends on what cheese you're talking about. Are you talking like American cheese that's moldy, or are you talking about some kind of blue cheese which is moldy? Those are two entirely different things. One is a delicacy. The other one will probably get you sick. Besides, if you're saying, hey, you're going to eat this moldy cheese for a million dollars? I'll say, sure, yeah, I'll eat it. Give me the million dollars. Then I'll stick a feather down my throat and throw it all up before it can actually get me sick. I ate it. You didn't say how long it had to stay in my stomach. You know? Combine two of the smallest foods in the world. Ah, uh, mozzarella. I like mozzarella. I mean, because I, I like pizza. You know, it's a, it's a thing. It's like, hey, what's your favorite uh, herb? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, oregano. Why? Because it's in pizza. It also doesn't hurt my stomach. 
unlike something like onion powder or garlic powder or something, because, you know, I have um, kind of bad acid reflux. So oregano doesn't hurt me. I keep mistaking those two. Army Veterans Gamers. Oh, bro, why do I keep mistaking those two? Hey, how you doing? Um, I would attempt to pronounce your name, but I'm probably going to hurt myself. Um... That's going to be... Sorry about that. Limburger. Limburger, is, uh, isn't that a really strong smell? That's like a really strong smell one, I think. I mean, if you want to get really smells... I, I remember when I was a kid that in the neighborhood there was like a cheese store. If you want an explosion of smells in your system, go into a cheese store. You know, I mean, they have like fresh cut cheeses and such like that, you know, that will just like the, the number of uh, smells. I mean, I still remember that today. What's the most people you had on the stream ever? I do believe that at one point we had like 95. I think 95 was the most. That was, and I think that was Super Auto Pets. So I did Super Auto Pets for a few more times in a row, and unfortunately it kind of dropped off, and we never got back there again. We got fairly close. I think we got into the 70s. Um, was it the fall or something like that when we were doing um, No One Survived? I don't know. I don't think. I think 95 was the most. I think 95 was the most. I don't think 98. I don't think we ever got to 98. Believe me, I would remember that. But I think we I think we got into the 70s a couple of times when we were doing the I think it was like in the summer last year when we were doing No One Survived. I'm pretty sure it was No One Survived. All right, how are you guys doing around here? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, the, the small sushi certainly vanished, didn't it? Okay, I'll have to remember to stock up a little bit more on that. How are we doing here? All right. It was in the fall, you're correct about that one, I'm pretty sure. No, I mean, the, the only time I got into the 90s was... No, it wasn't Jurassic Park Evolution. I'm pretty sure it was Super Auto Pets. Around that time, I'm pretty sure it was Super Auto Pets. And um, it may have been one of the first two times I did that. See, the problem I have with the Super Auto Pets, other than that, you know, the, the, the new creatures just weren't very interesting, is that they, they didn't give you a way of watching the game if you started it. Small sushi, yes. Like a command, like that being born. Being boom? Okay, how are we doing? We got 20,000. But believe me, that wouldn't even scratch the surface of expanding the store. All right, what are we doing? Oh, we're into 51, too. Okay, how are they doing here? Okay, I think uh, the rice is an issue. I'm going to have to get small sushi. All right, I'll check the uh, things on the inside, the boxes on the inside. Okay, it looks like they're done. So we got 20,510. Okay, somebody says that they will be frozen in place. Or they will have the same boxes they had before. So let's find out. Okay, 431. 
six satisfied customers. Um, we made oh, we only made forty eight hundred. I mean, with all the sushi we sold, I thought it would be better than that. And we only had seventy three customers. Next. Okay, you guys are right. Oh, chicken went down. Olive oil went down. Oh, olive oil went up. But the chicken went down. Okay, olive oil. Oh, wow, that's not bad. All right, so why don't we say... Oh, pardon me. 7.15. It's a delicacy. I also saw the chicken went down. I didn't catch the other ones. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. I'm going to say 1025 because I'm not willing to drop it any further than that. It just means that I won't have to worry about restocking it, right? A rope girl, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I have downloaded I just never played it in a hot minute. Why does, wait a minute, I, I honestly, I have no idea why the time freezes at 9 p.m., but I mean, here's the thing, that's when I make all my money, because the thing is, at 9 p.m., the store is filled with people, and that's when we make our money. I mean, that's great, because I don't have to pay these guys overtime, you know, because once 9 o'clock comes, they're trapped in there forever until they've done their last customer. In a Halloween update, they should give the restockers a Michael... Oh, that would actually be funny. Either that or make them zombies. You know, like... <laughs> All right, let's start taking a look. Oh, hold on a minute. Let's start taking a look uh, what I need to refill. Let's just see. Um, you know, the chicken is fine. I don't have to worry about the chicken. All right, we don't have to worry. Okay, I guess they refilled the, um, the green tea. Oh my goodness, it's packed. All right, so I really don't have to worry about this aisle at all for now. All right, what do we got here? Oh yeah, right, sushi, sushi, sushi. All right, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Sushi. I'm going to put two large and another small on the shelf. All right, let me just do this first. All right, so this is a small. Right, and these are the large. There we go. All right, let's take a look here. All right, the, um, I mean, I do have olive oil up there. That's not a problem. All right, we're good. We're good here. And we're good here. Good. Okay, what, what was this one? Okay, that's the uh, pastries. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Is that the only one that's a problem here? That is the only one that's a problem. All right, so I need the ham pastry. And I might as well just get two, just for fun. <laughs> Even though they're really expensive. They're really expensive. Oh, hold on a minute. Where is... Take that. And take that. Okay, what was here? Oh, they already took the sushi. Okay, I'm good with this bleach. I need one bleach down here. The big ones, the industrial ones. Bleach. I'll take one of those. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need the medium roast, don't I? I'll get two of the medium roast. I don't know. Do I want to get more green tea? I mean, it goes really slowly anyway. Yeah, these, these ones and twos are kind of annoying, but I'm willing to bet that they're packed. Okay, I have one open for... 
Oh, I only he's got two. There's only one open. All right. I'll just I'll just put uh, one in each of those. All right. For the pasta, I need two of those and one each of those. Right, so one, two, one, two. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? How about the, um, I mean, the flower's fine. Flower's not a problem. That's okay. Uh, that's all good, too. Um, what about the, the cereal? The cereal looks good. How about the kegs? I definitely need kegs. I need, I don't need the sugar too, but I need the kegs. One, two. All right, what's going on over here? I haven't glanced over in a while. Check the price on the sushi. Did the sushi go down? Hold on a minute. Oh. Let me check the, let me check the, I'll, I'll go out and check the sushi. I mean, that's okay. I'm getting a nice margin on that one. And that one's, that one's good too. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting more than a buck. I'm getting almost a buck 50 from that one. So I think they're fine. Okay. What? I mean, we have lots of orange juice. That shouldn't be a problem. Let me just verify my juice collection. Yeah, those are fine. So they just haven't filled them in yet. James, hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Ashlyn, oh, you know what would be cool in this game? I mean, uh, the rude people, they come to your store and disrupt the peace and knock things. Okay, I wouldn't consider that to be a good thing for the game, Ashlyn. They were actually talking about um, shoplifters, but it did vanish from the list, the to-do to list they had. But... What they do have is like cleaning. So it makes me wonder whether or not we're going to have customers like breaking things or something like that. You know, clean up an aisle two or something like that. So you'd have to hire a cleaner. No problem, James. Whenever you arrive, you're on time. Those two were decreases. Oh, chicken and chocolate. Oh, I couldn't care less about the chocolate. The chocolate's sitting there and nobody's bought any for a long time. Um, so the chicken went down. I know that. I, I, didn't, I didn't see anything else. But I mean, what went up? Something went up, didn't it? Yeah, see, that's the problem. That's another thing I'd like in the game. Can we see... Can we leave it up on the screen for a little bit longer so that I can actually see what's going on? All right, how many... You know what? Just buy it because I'm getting confused in terms of what I. Um, here, give me that. I'm getting a little bit confused. All right, put one of those in there. Put a keg in here. Now they're going to come for the keg, probably, right? Yep, he's coming for the keg. See, the problem here is that look, six, just six takes up an entire spot on a shelf by itself i mean that's a problem in terms of like organization uh elbows oh please tell me i didn't buy two of those i hope not good i i think i didn't do that all right and then we put that over there Okay, and this was the bleach. Um, that's right. There was some um, the medium. One, two. What about eating as they shop? I mean, that's a little bit more complex. At the moment, see, this is my problem is that this is just taking a long time. This is the part that takes the longest. Not putting it on the shelves, but figuring out what I have to buy. See, if I could just look at a shelf or something or look at a list and just say, buy one on everything on that list, that would be great. The problem, of course, is that, you know, they don't have something like that. 
All right, let's just take a look and make sure everything is good. Um, I mean, there's only two vodka, but that means the vodka is full. Oh, the cleaner again. Yeah, I need the cleaner. What about over here? See, I got a bunch of cleaning products over here. Okay, I am running a little bit low, but I'm going to let them vanish on me. Oh, I need the milk. Okay. Cleaner. One of those. I'll just grab a second one of these. Uh, but I need the milk. If I could spell it right. One, two, three. I'll go with three. Uh, Dios, if you're out there, thank you for subscribing. I hope I also said your name right. All right, let's see here. Okay, I think I may have overshot. Okay, no, no, I, I got the cleaner. All right, um, yeah, that right over there. And then I wanted some of this because this was empty. I, I think I'm good. So let's just start it up. Okay, we have a lot. We have almost 19,000 too. Except let me just look. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, this is going. We got a chance to make some good money here now. Okay, 18,918. Uh, can anyone tell me what keg is? A keg of uh, beer. This is a keg. So a keg holds a lot of beer. Does it tell you here? No, it doesn't tell you. It's like, is it like a gallon or something like that? Check the price on the dishwashing tablets. Which one? I got two of them. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. 23, 25. Okay, what about the other one? Just in case you were talking about the other one. Because there's actually two... That one's fine. Yeah, the other one, that was, uh, that was inexpensive. Eve Matrix, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it really depends on the size of the keg. Those, maybe like two gallons, two and a half gallons, something like that. Uh, why don't you push the shelves back and add more, I mean, in the direction of the fridges. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You mean here? I don't know if I could fit another one in there properly. Besides, I want to leave the door open for putting freezers on the end. But look at the situation. Look at all the empty space I have. It's not like I'm, uh, I'm dying for space right now. I need more products. So, I mean, that's the thing. I just don't have any more space. I mean, I don't have, it's a matter of space, I should say. I don't have any more products to put on there. But it also depends on the size of the keg. But the size you're talking about, that's probably right. Okay, he's grabbing a lot of that um, sushi over there. Did I have any small sushi left? No, just the large ones. Yeah, the small goes pretty quickly, doesn't it? Well, you know what? Just to make sure, 
Let's put a small sushi in there too. There we go. I looked at it. You should have enough space even without moving them. Yeah, but the problem is I don't have anything to put on the shelves. I mean, I just don't have anything to put on the shelves. Look at all the empty space. There's nothing there because I don't have anything to put there. So there's no purpose in me adding more because I, I have, they'll just be empty. I did check it and I raised it. I did check it and I raised the price. I looked at the other one and the other one is fine. Coconuts. We don't have coconuts in the store, James. Actually, we, you notice we don't have a produce section at all. We have no produce. Okay, 20,091. See, here's the thing. Once it hits 9 o'clock, look at how much money we make after 9 o'clock. It's like most of the money we make during the day is after 9. But then again, we never reach 9.01. The people are stuck in the store until they give me their money. I have no idea, but that would be going... Let's put it this way. I have ice cream in the store and nobody buys it because I have the price so high. But if they want it, it's there. Okay, um, speaking of pizza, I mean, everything seems to be good. Do I have... I bought three boxes of chicken. Oh, wow, we actually do have a chicken problem. Hold on a minute. I'm guessing people just started... I bought three full boxes of chicken. And now... Yeah, the price of the chicken went down. Wait a minute, did I make... Did I check that? You know, I think I forgot to look at that. Yeah, it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, the price went... Well, if the price went down and they're still buying it, then there's no reason for me to touch the price. Right? Hold on a second. Give it over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. Where's the chicken? Where is the chicken? Oh, that's right. I reduced the price already. Yeah, I did that. The checkouts are full. Okay, you're asking at the beginning of the day what the two items were that you weren't able to read. Pizza is free, if only pizza was free. Only pizza was free. I'll pay cash or credit. No, no, no. I'll use my store credit. We don't have any store credit here. Give me the credit card or give me cash. I love these screens. You guys are so friendly. Oh, that's wonderful, James. I agree. I have... Uh, there aren't a lot out there, but I have very, very wonderful user uh, viewers. Viewers who I'm sure have all hit the like button. Okay, so it's 9 o'clock right now, and we have 21,777. But look, that these guys are all full, and there's people walking through this place over here. So let's see if we get to like 23,000 or maybe even close to 24,000 because this is when I make the money right here. And I can't do anything to refill or anything like that. Oh, wow. Do we have a vodka issue? Didn't I just buy a new... Oh, it's gone. Oh, man. they. I, okay, I got to buy two containers of vodka from now on. 
I mean, because it was full and I bought a box. But, I mean, look, there's only six left. Is there a, a, a something I don't know here? Yeah, except maybe I should raise the price. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Right there. I mean, if it's selling out like that, I'm going to raise the price. No, you can't just pay cash register when the clock reaches. There ain't no free samples here. You want free samples? There's an alley just down the street. There's where your free samples are. I mean, they'll buy it eventually, but how much stock base do I have for that? Bunnies. Just understand something. That name was originally created for selling games. Game hopping was something that originally, like I said, I was I was going to I was going to be I uh, I uh, I did apps on the on the Apple App Store. So that was originally made as what I was selling games under. And at that point, it didn't let you change the name of your channel, so I just went with that. Okay, is it run out? No, it isn't. As long as it doesn't run out. Yeah, none of that's going to run out because I'm so heavily stocked. Oh, wow, all the toilet paper finally vanished. I don't know, maybe they were using it to wrap the chicken and with the vodka. Chicken and vodka wrapped in toilet paper. Well, obviously, I know I need um, toilet paper, so that's an easy one right there. There's only one left there. Okay, is that... Which one is that? Ugh. I just want one gun so I can fill up that spot. All right. Well, you know what? Let me just put it down here now. I'll buy it first thing, which is going to be toilet paper. This is what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Except I, I, I messed one of them up. How do you do that? Yeah, that one right there. Okay. Four each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here for now. Okay, so 23,531. All right, and I should, I'll, I'll pay my bills in the morning. I think a couple of days have gone by. You're killing me with your comedy. Hmm. Sarah, I'll buy more with money I told Sally didn't steal from the register. Oh, okay, you didn't. Well, I mean, the thing about it is I'm one of the first videos on my channel is um, a very early demo of uh, a mobile game I was working on. I was trying. Here's the thing. I spent a lot of time working on a um, an RPG uh, role playing game for mobile. Yeah, the thing about it is it really wasn't mobile like. So, yeah, it didn't didn't do very well. Then I made a change to something else. And I think that one was working out better. I think there's another video on the channel of me demonstrating that. Kind of like an adventure text walkthrough type of a thing. Um, the problem is then that Apple. Apple. See, here's the thing about Apple as opposed to Microsoft. Microsoft sells development products. So they want to make sure that they're compatible with their previous ones because they want you to buy it. See, if you have a Microsoft, um, like, say a C compiler that you were working on 10 years ago when you have all the projects, if you buy one that's modern, it'll port it all in perfectly because that's what they do. Apple, 
Apple just decided to change their entire development language, not support the stuff in the past, and it just wouldn't work anymore. You'd have to completely rewrite it because they don't care. They're getting your money. See, in order to put stuff on the Apple store, you had to pay them like $200 a year. And then it would just get buried into oblivion and such. But I mean, that's the way they did it with their development stuff. They just changed it and said, oh, screw what you were doing previously. And uh, that was pretty much the last straw. That, of course, is that if you just had a little fix to do, say, in a, um, in a, a program, like a, an app on the App Store, then you might have to use the new development environment, which means it wouldn't support older devices anymore, which means that you might have had a whole audience of people who you would just cut off by making a bug fix. So, yeah, Apple... Apple's not a good company. No, not a good company at all. Just remember, they always put out an OS update before they have a new version of the operating system. You know, pardon me. They have a new operating system, right? The OS, before they have a new model of iPhone. And one of the reasons for that is to make the older versions not run as well anymore. So you'll buy the new one. To get you frustrated, so you'll buy the new one. Because they sell hardware, remember? So the idea of the software is to sell the hardware. Uh, you've looked up that video. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I think it's. I think it's. Um, I think it's unlisted. But I mean, yeah. The thing is, I. I well, to be fair, I probably don't want it found on my channel. Um, let's just say I'm not doing very much these days. Well, let's just say I'm rather concentrating on endeavors regarding YouTube. I've done a lot of developing in my time, though. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do this and move on. 407. Oh, we actually made good profit that time. 3,000 in profit. Okay, candy went up, dark roast went down, and the light sugar went up. Hold on, light sugar. Oh, that's a nice little increase right there. So I think a nice increase is worth uh, that. And I completely forgot what the other items were. Oh, I really wish you could call that back up and look at it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, right. Toilet paper. Oh, um, well, I started doing this... I believe it was 2015, January of 2015. It's the, yeah, it's the reason. No, right. I mean, it's about. Uh, is it that long, really? It was 2015. You see, if you look at the age of the channel, the channel goes back to when I was doing development stuff. I was like putting videos about the 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 uh, the games I was working on and such like that. But when I actually started doing like YouTuber stuff, it was after they um, they put fiber optic lines in my neighborhood. Uh, we ever go back to Monster Legends? No. Absolutely no. Oh, oh, right there. There we go. Okay, so at least we got all of that in there now. Um, it went down, I think. Well, I mean, the thing is, I think it's still operating. Okay, uh, will you ever do Zompiercer again? Yeah, but the problem with Zompiercer is they make a couple of changes, but the, the game is the exact same thing. Until they make content changes, I just don't see a reason to touch it. I mean, look. Oh, we're going to change the zombies. 
and have the exact same progression. Oh, now we're going to change the guns and have the exact same progression. How many times can you play the same game with absolutely no changes? Uh, what made you decide to stream this instead of Planet Crafter? Um, the poll? I'm, I'm, besides, I'm doing videos of Planet Crafter now. But I mean, I did a poll, James. I asked about three games. This one, um, House Flipper, and uh, the, um, the DLC for Hydraneer. This one won by a big margin. Yeah, but the content they added... You know, they did add a boss fight in the previous one when they did the zombies. And as I hear, the boss is like ridiculously, absurdly hard. Um, but that's fine. Uh, but the thing is that um, in terms of um, the last one, I mean, just, just like, hey, we redid the guns. Isn't that great? And it's the same thing. You know, it's still, it's going, they're not adding anything. You're just going to stop at the same places and do the same things. And the last time I played it, you know, right after they did the zombie one? I mean, I couldn't get any water to stay alive. Yeah, I mean, you can look at the community section. You'll see there's a poll there. And uh, like I said, this one had like 60% the last one I last time I looked at it. So if I don't think that the videos are working out for... Uh, I mean, I might do a house flipper on Monday anyway. Even if I still end up doing videos for it. Because I can kick out some a bunch of jobs, you know doing it on uh, on stream. I might do that anyway. I missed a question, going back. Uh, so will you ever go to game development or is this a done deal? I mean, I think this is probably what I'm working on now. It's been a while since I did any programming. So, I mean, I would probably pick it up quickly, but I mean, game development at this point, I mean, here's the thing, I don't, think that I would do something like that myself. I mean, I, I always had great ideas, what I consider to be great ideas. Um, and I I put my magnum opus up, but like I said, it was like a PC game uh, designed for a, uh, a mobile uh, platform. As a matter of fact, do you know when I submitted uh, the Dead Hop, that was the name of my RPG, by the way, uh, when I submitted that to Apple, it was um, it was rejected in less than five minutes. And the reason it was rejected is because my menu had an exit button. See, it was against their policy for a game to actually exit. They want all games, to, all products to stay in the background. But I mean, like, I mean, I, I come from a PC background and the idea of like cleaning up after yourself and leaving I mean, it was a game. Just exit and then leave and then free up memory. But they didn't like that, so I had to take that out. The next time, then, then it was accepted. But that was the only reason it was rejected. is because I had an exit button in. Okay, so I completely forgot what I was doing now. All right, how are we looking over here? A bread, cake. We got bread and a cake. Uh, which, I think that was the... Not break. Red. I'm pretty sure it was this one. All right, let's see. Red. I mean, do we have anything over here? Do we need anything here? Oh, I need... Um, Oh, right. I put that there. Never mind. Um, lasagna. I'm at a lasagna again? I'm going to get two lasagna. Oh, man. That is expensive. Yikes. Um, and I'm at a chicken legs again. I bought two boxes of that. People are crazy about chicken. Mind you, I agree with them, but still. Yeah, let's just do this quickly. All right, so lasagna and lasagna. That reminds me, I have to check the back. Uh, 
Uh, I mentioned what increase in decreases. I mentioned what the increase and decrease were in one message earlier game. I have no idea what you're asking with that question, Mike. If you're meaning the prices, I have no idea because I, I just, I, I'll focus on one of them and then forget the other three. Just the reason I'd really like it if they were on the screen longer. Is that Stick War 3? I mean, I played a, an earlier version of that and um, I wasn't really that impressed with it. Okay, and where is the chicken? There we go. Okay, what is this? Oh no, I bought another one. I hope it fits. Okay, it does. Oh, the rice. I remember seeing a rice problem, right. You know, I'm gonna buy three of them. Okay, and while I'm doing that, they're fine. Okay, I'm out of the the dish stuff here. I'm out of honey. I'm out of mayonnaise. Okay. Fish. One, two. Honey. One, two. Mayo. One, two. Uh, they added the 2v2 campaign and 1v1 bots. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is I just, uh, you know, the whole PvP thing, I'd rather just had, like, the, um, the campaigns. I like the campaigns. Yeah, I don't like to make the assumption that people cheat, but let's face it, people cheat. And a lot of times, games will help them with that by, you know, like, pay-to-win stuff. So that's the reason I don't like doing anything competitive in mobile games. Because, let's face it, he who spends the most money wins. And that's just the way it's going to be. See, if you can enjoy a game just for enjoying the game, that's fine. But once it gets competitive, if you're going into the competitive part, well, that's when you start having problems. I'm very fortunate that none of my guys have gotten stuck. I'm happy about that. Um, mayo. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to check back here. Okay, I still have... Two of those, I, I still have some crab sticks, french fries, the uh, salmon, I still have the two pizzas, I have chicken, and I still have, I could get another box of each of these just so I don't have to worry about them. And we still have more than 24,000 too, so that's a good thing. But then again, I haven't paid my bills in a while, have I? Here, let's do this. Apple juice and orange juice. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I'm starting to run low on some of these. See, there's two boxes there and it's got eight in it. So I'm going to have to wait for them to empty out and get rid of the boxes. Okay, I need flour. All right, the blue I can't do anything about. The other ones I can One blue, one, two, one, two. I'll check the cereals too. Uh, my phone I used to have started using the Chromebook. If you don't want to. One player games is where it's at. I mean, I enjoy one player games. It really depends on the game. So it used to be once upon a time, I played a lot of multiplayer games with my friends. You know, we did a lot of deathmatch games, even going back to pulling up like um, 
you know, like uh, using like connections and server stuff to do like Doom and Doom 2 and such. And then, of course, uh, um, Duke Nukem and stuff like that. We played like everything that came out that was like multiplayer. And uh, it's a lot of fun. But then again, you know, games like that are fun when you know the people you're playing with and you're communicating with them, you know? And then you can actually meet up at work or school the next day and say, ah, I owned you. Way back when I was in school, there was a, I don't know if you guys ever heard of a game called uh, Dark Age of Camelot. It was a, um, a um, MMORPG, but it was basically mostly the end game was PvP. So I played like a little guy with a big hammer. I was like a guardian. And uh, you had the ability to stun somebody for a long time if you hit him from behind. And I had a friend who was very into PvP, and he was um, uh, he was an assassin. And um, he's like, "Hey, hey, you want a duel?" Because he's like, oh, "He's he's gonna kill me easily and such like that," you know. And he's like, oh, "We're with our guild and such like that." And I'm like, oh, "I don't want to fight you." See, like, come on, come on. And I'm like, "Okay, fine, whatever." Something happened during the fight. And his interface glitched out on him. And I got the hit on him from behind. And I ended up killing him. Everyone in the freaking guild was laughing their butt off. And then he was like, like, he came back and he's like, fight me, fight me. And I'm telling the guild, listen, I think I've achieved everything that I have in this game. And I'd like to thank you all because I do believe I've beaten the game now. And it's time for me to leave. <laughs> and they were all laughing. When I met him at school the next day, he runs right up to me and he goes, fight me, fight me. <laughs> because the very idea that I defeated him isn't something he could live with. But I mean, that kind of thing is fun when you know the people and then you can interact with them and stuff. But when you have people who will do absolutely anything to win and they'll just, it's all about winning instead of having fun. I just don't enjoy that. I just don't enjoy that. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, hopefully he's not out there listening to me because otherwise I'm probably going to get a very nasty phone call. All right, let's see. Um, let's see. Get one. Oh, and by the way, I never fought him again <laughs> because I wouldn't give him the satisfaction of beating me. Uh, bump. See, I like uh, some. I like some PvP. See, when I first uh, started playing World of Warcraft, um, you know, I was on a PvP server, and uh, the way it was was very kind of organic. You know, you'd go into areas, and there's enemies there, and there'd be you know ten situations and such. I'll never forget. I think it was Stranglehorn Vale. I had my druid, and this was when druids really sucked really sucked in the beginning. I mean, they really sucked in the beginning. And um, there was this dwarf who was an enemy guy and he had his pet and he was killing uh, zombies, right? So I went around to the other side and I was killing zombies and just stay, you know, stay to your side, I'll stay to mine. Anyway, I pulled one, I was doing a fight and then he jumped in to try to kill me while I was fighting. So I got away and um, by the way, I was specced for beast stuff. So I got away and then he went back to work, right? So what he would do is standard hunter thing. He'd send his pet and he'd shoot, right? So I was in cat form, the Inviso cat form. And I would wait for him to do that and then immediately attacked him from behind. He didn't even realize what was happening in time. And then poof, I killed him. And then I just stealth right on top of his buddy and on his body and then walked away. Basically the universal sign of get out of here. Anyway... He came back, grabbed his corpse, and then started hunting there again. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I waited for him to do it again. Then I attacked him from behind. He pulled his pet back to attack me, but he had already hit the monster. And the monster came and started beating on him too. So poof, he was dead. I stealthed and walked away. <laughs> he got the message and then just left. So something like that is always good, you know, a good... Uh, Instead of uh, what it turned into, which was packs of five people cruising around just to try to get honor points by killing anybody they could, which, uh, yeah, that unfortunately. Do I 
have no I have no coffee down here. I just realized that. So, but it's when people want to play and have fun, it's one thing. But if it's all about winning and they're willing to pay to win, I'm I'm not interested in that kind of thing. And unfortunately, that's kind of the only thing that exists now because, you know, there's people who will spend a ton of money on that, the whales. So that's the way the games are made these days. So anything competitive is always going to have a pay to win element because the develop the I shouldn't say the developers the uh, publishers of the game know that's where they get the big money from, from the people wanting to be um, uh, the big guys on the block. And I just, I was it Pasta was doing? Did they just take that one out? Okay, hold on a minute. Pasta! Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, no, no, World of Warcraft. That's what I meant. World of Warcraft. Uh, as far as I know, World of Warship doesn't have, um, uh, doesn't have, uh, orcs or dwarves or anything like that. Actually, I said it was a dwarf, and I said he was a hunter. So I was playing a druid. So, uh, boom, boom. Okay, so now what else was I looking for over here? I keep losing track of what I was doing. Uh, yeah, right, the two coffees, that's right. Just not the medium roast. Oh, that's right, the coffee went down in price. Well, that sucks. Ouch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try 10.95. Ooh, that hurts. That hurt a lot. Okay, did I grab those? Yes, I did. Uh, what else did we have here? I got those. All right, I think that's going to be done. Yeah, I keep distracting myself. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Dark Rose went down in price. Oh, did I buy the wrong ones? Ah, oh, I bought the medium roast. Okay, I didn't buy the light roast. I bought the medium roast. Uh, well, you know what? It'll sell eventually, right? All right, I have to go buy the light roast now. It's a good thing that they stack high. All right, so let's see here. Okay, yeah, I got to get the... Um... Yeah, I guess, I guess I thought for some reason medium would be in the middle, but it wasn't. Uh, why don't you try an oldies strategy lower all the prices... Because that adds more work. That adds more work. Oh my goodness, the idea is I don't like doing this stuff. <laughs> this this drives me crazy. This is the part that I don't like about the game because there's no shortcut. There's no lists. There's no nothing. So the last thing I want to do is actually have to do more work. See, right here, if I lowered these prices down to something that would actually sell then I would have to micromanage all of these products instead of just the eggs. And I bought two boxes of the eggs. Do I still have them? All right, I still have one box of those left. I don't want to micromanage all of that. That would turn everything into a nightmare. See, I didn't want to carry these, but the thing about it is if I don't carry them, I'm going to get penalized. All right, we're done. There we go. All right. All right, so this is the part where I get to relax. Oh, let me get this. So, quick question. Has anyone seen the Fallout TV series that dropped yesterday on Amazon Prime? I know there's only 25 of you, but maybe somebody saw it.
That makes sense unless you have 5,000 employees. Brian, I, oh, candy I don't care about, really. Oh, oops. I'll put this one in myself because I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, I, I I don't know how I missed that. Um, where did I keep the candy? I must have... Oh, here it is. I mean, should I keep it there? Uh, probably the reason is that it's probably not a good place for it. Hold on a minute. Uh, all right, what else did you... Okay. Uh, didn't even know a series came out. I heard it released, but I'm weary of a TV show video game. Uh let me don't don't even mention a halo in the same um word with this one um i i am i was very concerned about some of the things that could have happened with this and i watched all eight episodes yesterday and i wanted more it it was actually it's actually it, it mind you it's very mature because you know after all fallout is actually very mature lots of violence but in terms of if you're a fan of Fallout, you're going to like this. If you're not, if you don't know anything about Fallout, you'll probably still like it. Personally, I really enjoyed it. I think it's the best game adaptation that I've ever seen. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let me just, I, another thing is I have to check the price here too, right? Okay, yeah, I should probably increase the price on that one. All right, why don't we just say five ninety-five like that? Okay, that's good. If they want to buy it at that price, that's fine. Okay, I better look around just in case I miss something. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, did they take it already? Okay, good. Okay. How are we doing here? All right, everything's looking good. Yeah, I guess I didn't see the candy because, okay, how are the kegs doing? Is he carrying a keg? I forgot about the vodka. I, for, I forgot about the vodka. Oh, that's a that's a disaster. I'm not out of it, but I'm going to be out of it. Yep, I forgot about the vodka. I'm loading it up myself. All right, there we go. The other one I'll put in the shelf. Okay, and I also need kegs, and I should probably get a six-pack over there, too, so. Keg, one, two, and then. Okay, what is this? Aid bonuses. Right, James, I absolutely, the, the Halo was just garbage. It really was. It was garbage. Everything I heard about it was garbage. I, I didn't actually have access to it since I would never pay that channel money. Um, just looked up the TV show. It's probably... I mean, like I said, though, it is mature. And they did one thing that was... I would say the only thing that... I wouldn't... I'm not, I would never give spoilers about it. But I would say that the only thing that I thought was weird is that they go into a vault in like the the last the last third of the movie and there's a complete tone change the the tone of the show 
was very consistent, serious. And then it just got weirdly lighthearted in there. And in that episode, for some reason, they decided that they needed to show boobies. Lots of them. I have no idea why. None of the rest of that happens in the rest of the show. It's just they decided to do that. And not the star or something, a bunch of other people. It was a very weird addition. I think they could have cut a lot of that out and it wouldn't have made any difference. It was just weird. Oh, and it's pitch black in here, isn't it? Sorry about that, guys. I wonder if that affects my sales. Um, yeah, quick, 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 quick. But, I mean, I really liked it. I want to see more. I want to see more. And the the app, I, the one thing that I will say, and it's not really a spoiler because it's just the last scene, the last thing you see at the end of um, the show, the last image you see from a distance is New Vegas. And it was clearly New Vegas. You started the day too early. Well, there were some things that I missed. No question about that. But uh, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to be a little more careful. Otherwise, oh, we're out of the cheese. Oh, I'm probably going to get hit by that. I just saw that I had some. Okay, I'm out of the cheese. All right, I'm pro I might take some hits on that. Yeah, could be that pe I'm going to get hit on the, the cheese. All right, well, well, we'll just sit back and make our money. There's not much I can do at this point. Yeah, but from what I understand, James, it's not even Master Chief. Apparently, somebody else is, you know, the spirit of Master Chief or something like that. Yeah, it's all... Believe me, this game was... Pardon me, this series was very, very Fallout. Very Fallout. I enjoyed it a lot. As a matter of fact, there's apparently a big update coming to Fallout 4, and they're going to add a bunch of stuff to it. But I was like, the last shot of seeing New Vegas, that... I don't, I don't know where this takes place in the timeline and whether or not uh, Mr. House is there. Okay, 24,000. We have a good shot at over 25,000, that's for sure. But anyway, I enjoyed it. But like I said, definitely mature. Because, I mean, look, Fallout has a tendency to be brutal. Every one of their games was brutal. All the way back to the isometric RPG. You could just explode somebody by shooting them. My understanding is due to the video link I sent you, the TV series is based off of every single one of the Fallout games. Well, I mean, there's there's lots of Easter eggs. You could say in some ways it's the most similar to Fallout 4, but there's a lot of um, there's a lot of um, of the other ones there too. Like for instance, the powered armor in this in this show is very much like Fallout 4, where you get out of it and you get into it in the exact same way.
Ask any Halo fan and they will... Yeah, but you have to understand, James, it wasn't made by people who wanted that. I mean, look at look at what happened with The Witcher. Here it is. You had a series and basically you, the writers were people who had nothing but contempt for the original story. So they made up their own story because they know so much better than award winning, very popular books. See, there are people who just believe that they can just take an IP and forge it to their own personal beliefs and such. See, here's a question for you. Of all the adaptations of anime, why was it that the One Piece was so much better than the rest of them? The reason for that is because the owner of the IP, the guy who did the characters in the first place, he had last say on any story elements. It was part of the arrangement. So they couldn't do anything that he didn't want done to his characters. Period. That's the reason that show turned out so well. They didn't want to know anything about it. They had an IP and they had an opportunity to make something that was consistent with what they believed in. But as I said, I was very happily surprised with Fallout. Okay, cookies. Okay, I don't see 24 cookies. I see 24 cookies. I don't see 24 cookies. I think somebody didn't get a cookie. <laughs> somebody didn't get a cookie. Or is that wrong? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Seven, oh, no, no, no. You're absolutely right. There are 24 cookies there. There are 24 cookies. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's start and see. Let me start to get, start to do some work here. Okay, very nearly twenty six thousand, but I don't think I've paid my bills in a while. All right, come on, what are we gonna get? Yeah, I had one person who couldn't find a product. Hey, but we got four hundred and fifty six store points. Okay, veal went down, mashed potatoes went down, and green tea went up. Oh, the veal went down. I couldn't care about the mashed potatoes. Oh wow, I have to get veal and steak. Okay, what do we got? Oh, ouch. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, my good. That's nearly a $4 drop. Oh. Oh, man, that is bad. Fuel used to be so wonderful. Now it's not. Oh, okay. What am I going to do about this? Like fifteen twenty-five, and hope it sells? I'm just I'm going to put it at that and and hope it sells. All right, the green tea went up, I believe, right? I mean, I guess did it go down? Huh. Wait a minute. It went up. Okay, then how was I selling it at that kind of a markup then? Okay, never mind. Maybe I should have just left it the way it was. You know, that's probably not a bad idea. I probably should have left it the way it was because it was already selling. So I'm just going to put it back to where it was because it was already selling. Okay, are those... Okay, what do we got here? Are those for Gia? Okay, no, no. If you mean if you mean the cookies, she made one for everybody. There was one for everybody. Oh, there's extra. Okay, a lot, there's a lot of cookies going around then. Okay, what was that? All right, let's just do a quick look around here for a second. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to get steak and veal. And I have to remember to get the cheese, both of them. But I need to get two of the other one. 
All right, so let's get steak, one, veal, one, and then we're going to get cheese. Why? Okay, here we go. I need two Parmesan and one mozzarella. All right, I'm going to start with that. Veal. Oh, brown sugar. I th that's right. I, you, you mentioned that a couple of times. I'll go check that out. Steak. Oh, and I think the moussaka is also, or mousaka, or whatever it is. That one's got a problem, too. All right, let me just throw these guys in here. Okay, I'm out of both of them. But they need to fill this one. There we go. All right, let's check the price. I need to raise. Um, I could put that up a little bit. Seven sixty-five. We'll do that. Let's try to squeeze a little bit more money out of these people. Okay, how is the TP? I wish you could merge them. See, if I could take these two and put them in there. Wait a second. Can I do that? No. That would be good if I could merge them, you know? Because look, I got two, two, and two. But there's nothing I can do about that. Look, I got one over here and I got three here. Can I just like merge them together? Remember to like the button. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yes, if you are one. Although I got to say that we're, we probably have the same people behind uh, now that we did before. Don't guard the cookies. Okay, so um, I need a um, one of each. Because I can't fit anything else. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. Now let's see what else I need here. I mean, maybe. How's the sushi? Just going to look at it from a distance. Yeah, I'll get a small. I, I'm, I don't think I... I have extra large. I just... I need a small. Sushi. Boom. Put that there. All right. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Uh, I need Pablo. I need milk. Oh, not Spablo. Pablo. I'll get two. Uh, one, two, three. That'll do for now. See, Pablo. Now he's moving. Oh, and this was the small sushi, right? There we go. And here he comes. Uh. You need to change the price on the green tea, not the black tea. Oh, was I clicking on the wrong one? No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I was doing this because I was looking down at that one. That's a good catch. That's a good catch. All right, down here. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to change that. 
I'm going to say that. I'm going to be really greedy. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about the tags. Yeah, I was looking at this one here, and I was thinking it was that, but yeah, it comes down from the, the bottom up, doesn't it? You know why that's confusing? Because it's the opposite of the way the shelves work. I mean, look here. See the product up here? The price is below it. Right there, the price is below it. But if you look here, the label is above it. I spent so much time in here that that's why I made that mistake. Is I was looking, I was looking above it, or so. so that's that's my excuse. I'm going with that one. Where has been the funniest place that you ever been? The funny? Oh, funnest. Funnest? I mean, in terms of fun, I mean, I, I was on a couple of uh, cruises, you know. Um, I mean, those were pretty good. You know, my, I was traveling with a group of people, and um, myself and my roommate were, um, we, we were on one cruise to the Caribbean, and then we went to um, Alaska, and then we got upgraded to a, um, a suite because we were a captain's club members. It was celebrity. And as a result, we had a suite, and that was that was pretty good, considering it was an Alaska cruise, you know, and you wouldn't want to be outside too much when, while you were cruising. Having a suite was pretty cool, just saying. Okay, then go. What do you mean that's a bad excuse? Look, I'm looking at the product. It's above right there. See that? I'm looking at this one. It's right above like that. So when I was over here, I was looking. Oh, look, the label is right above just like that. But it wasn't. It's the label down below. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little weird that way. So it's a great excuse. All right. Uh, let me just see here. Okay. So what about over here? Okay, I only have two salmon left. They're fine. And I don't have any crab sticks. Okay, so I'm missing the moose. I should get some of those. All right, so here's what we're going to do. This is going to be expensive, but I do have a lot of money. One, two. Crab. Oh, not cab. Crab. One, two. And then the last one was salmon. One, two. All right, that's going to be expensive, but I don't want to have to worry about it. Boom. Oh, you said it's not a bad... Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not a bad excuse. I seem to remember not seeing a... Um, wait a minute, let me just go back. Oh, that's not actually a bad excuse. Okay, so what I was reading was actually a bad excuse. I wasn't putting the not in. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, Mike. I read that wrong. My fault completely. Right there. And that one there. And that one up there. Okay, we're approaching 52, level 52. So that's a good thing. Okay, he's coming for that. I, I think that we're probably okay to go... I mean, we're full. We have extras. How am I? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I need to fill this up. Yeah, everything else looks good, but I need to fill that one up. So let's just do that right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that I think that um, I should probably get three because they're probably going to take one away immediately and easily fill it up here. Only got two left there, but the thing is full. Yeah, he's not bringing that box back. So as soon as he takes the box, I can just put the other one in. There we go. All righty. Looking good. Looking good. It's all nice and full. All right, let's just start today. I think I'm good. All right, we're starting with 23,900. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't pay the bills. Let's pay the bills. Let's pay the bills. Yikes. Now I have 22,800. Life would be so much better if you didn't have to pay your bills. Just saying. It'd be a lot better if you didn't have to pay taxes. When is the next upgrade? Oh, that's a really good question. I mean, look, I mean, I could buy a few more racks in here, but as you can see, I don't really need them at the moment. I can't upgrade the size of this. And in terms of the store, let's take a look. The next increase in the store size would cost 24,600. And that would just get me a little square. Then it would cost 31,000 for the next little square. And then it would cost 40,000 for the square after that. And then finally, I would get a full rectangle again uh, with the last purchase of 52,000. So my target is the next licenses. The problem is that I have to be 56 for that. And I am just short of 52. So I need a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. Okay, we're back up to 23. Maybe we can get to like 24, I mean, pardon me, like 26, 27. 27 would be nice. 27 would be very nice. Okay, they're buying the bleach. Oh, I didn't refill the bleach. Uh, I didn't refill the bleach. I didn't refill the bleach. Yeah, I'm, I'm slacking off. One, two, three, four. And then one of those. Just in case. Here, hold on a second. Uh, put that in there. And put that in there. Give me the big one. Put that in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to carefully look around because obviously some things have slipped under the covers here. All right. Um... Are they good? That's good. Oh, the cleaner. All right, the cleaner's not an emergency, but it might end up becoming an emergency. So I might as well get one. I could probably get two of them. So I'm going to do that. Oh, sorry about that. Um... Yes, we're 52 now. So lots and lots of grinding. Let me get this. And we'll put that here. Oh, am I out of shampoo? I'm out of the dishwashing liquid too. I forgot to look up there. But I don't think I have a problem with them at the moment. I'll just check. Yeah, the shampoo's fine. 
And let's see. Yeah, the, the, the dishwashing liquid is fine. That one is fine. The cleanser is fine. Uh, I just got a refill on that, so we should be able to get that in pretty soon. The pasta's all good. Uh, the mayo's good. The pepper's good. Yeah, he's doing a refill right now. And they're loading it up. Okay, I th that'll do. Unless, of course, he grabs three of them. He grabbed two of them. All right, everything's looking good. All right, we're up to 24,132. Honey, I loaded the honey up. Honey's fine. Look, I got 13 honey left there. I am out of the mayo, but I mean, the mayo was full over there, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I mean, I do have honey there. What am I out of up there? Oh, the oil. I'm out of the, um, here, let me turn this on. The olive oil. I mean, I'll refill it, but it's going to be fine. I can't imagine losing the olive oil. Uh -huh. We have chicken, right? Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's quickly grab some chicken. Uh, one, two, three. The chicken's actually very inexpensive. It's just very awkward. See, look, it takes up a whole spot. And there's only four of them in there. In there, in there. And you'll notice I put lights in, too. I care about my employees. That is, I don't want them suing me. Okay, we're coming up on nine. So we, we have about 25 now. So I'm hoping that we can get deep into 27 before we have to close. Before the last person's on. Uh, James says, don't grow on trees. They grow herbs. My family just calls them trees. My dad knows it's a herb-like plant. The regular is white. No, I mean, the. yeah, I have nine of the regular oil left right there. See, this one over here is the olive oil. This is the regular oil. I have nine left, which means it's full. See, if I have nine left over there, that means that these are mostly full. They're filling up the, uh, the sushi. That's fine. Lots of toilet paper. It's a wonderful thing. How are we doing over here? Okay, they're not buying the toilet paper. I'm, I'm funny. I'm fine okay with that, really. Bananas. How did bananas get into this? So it's good to actually be in spring. The weather is like weirdly unstable these days, but I am so happy to be into spring. It's so much, it's, spring is actually my favorite season because it's such a contrast from winter. And uh, also it, the, the days get significantly brighter. See, the thing about summer is that the days start getting darker. So it, it's in a way, it's a little bit depressing. I just like spring. Spring's a great thing. Lots of things are beginning, like baseball season. But then again, I'm a Mets fan, so I have to endure horrible pain for that. Uh, 
Okay, when I just checked my family's banana trees and we found we have bananas growing. Um, it's amazing. You have bananas growing on banana trees? I've never heard of such a thing. I thought they grew on apple trees. I mean, at very least, orange ones. Well, banana trees are kind of different, aren't they? Don't they grow up like straight in a big stalk or something like that? I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I watched a video once of these people who made their own banana trees in their backyard. And they had this whole process they went through. Apple and cherry trees. I mean, autumn is nice, but the problem with autumn is it gets dark and it gets cold and it leads into winter. See, I like brightness. Brightness is good for lots of things. Okay, we didn't quite make it to 27, but we did pretty good. All right, so let's just, let's just kick this into overdrive and um, get back to this. Hey, lots of satisfied customers. Made 2,000 in profit. Okay, that's good. All right, now let's see. Spaghetti went up, shampoo went up. Okay, that's good. Those are two things, shampoo and spaghetti. All right, let me see the spaghetti shampoo. Okay, we can probably do something to the line of that. All right, that's good. And then which of the spaghettis? The easiest way, I, actually, no, no, there's only one. The pasta spaghetti, what am I thinking about? Uh, this guy right here. All right, let's see what happened with this one. Oh, that's a nice increase right there. That's a nice increase. Arav, I hope I said that right. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Correct game, have I made stock? My understanding is that the branches are so fit. You need sun. Okay. Our trees were already there when we moved into our new home. Oh. Banana trees were already there? I thought you had to renew the banana trees. Okay, like I said, I was... My total knowledge is a video. Uh, let's do 8, 15. Ooh, that's much better. That's much better. Okay, finally some good ones for a change. Okay. Um, so I need one of those. And that's all I need for the toilet paper. I'm just going to do that one to get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about the toilet paper. Okay, because these guys are still doing filling. All right, let me check out here in this section. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, so the fridge and the other one are fine. Candy, candy's okay. All right, I will just check these guys one at a time. Um, oh, the bread. I could use both of them, but the sandwich bread is more of a problem. All right, we're in one problem at a time. Uh, what is this? Past owners died and some people renovated the house that we bought it. Oh. Babe season's in order. Summer. I mean, summer's okay. It really depends. See, the thing is, when you're doing school at any level, summer is always going to be the best one. Because you don't have to go to school. Unless you have summer school. The one time I had summer school, it was because of French 3. I might have said that, is that the teacher hated me from the beginning because of my brother before me. So I never stood a chance. But then... Um, for summer school, uh, a friend who lived like two blocks away was also there, and he had a car, and he just drove us back and forth, and it was basically just hanging out. <laughs> the teacher was like, you know what? 
which which other teacher do we play a practical joke on today? You know, it was like that. So it wasn't a bad time. Let's see. So we are. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, yeah, we're talking about fruits and such like this, uh, Ashlyn, because it's kind of a mellow game. It's kind of a mellow game, isn't it? See, I can just sit here and I'm actually waiting for them to, to do their stuff. Oh, they're all done. Okay, they're all done. Which means there's nothing else they can load in until I have them do it. All right, so let me just quick glance around. All right, so I need blue. Um, I probably need some blue stuff of that. Oh, right, and that was the olive oil because I'm out of olive oil and low on regular oil. So there's what we're going to do. Oil. One, one, two. Leave those there for now. Okay, is there anything else over here? Peanut butter. I need peanut butter. I need the dish stuff, too, and I need cleaner. What about this one? Yeah, I need one of those, too. Okay. Need lots of stuff. Peanut butter. One, two. I need dish. Okay, that's a problem. I'll do one, two. I'll buy those. And then I'll do one, two. I'll buy one of those as well. All right, but I have to put these guys out now. Uh, the three musketeers. What is this? Older brother mess everything. Older brother mess everything up for us. I guess I missed the top part of that. You have lots of cool stories. I could just keep you. I could keep going with stories. Believe me. Even just world. Even just that 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 time of World of Warcraft. That was some. That was some fun stuff. Um, until they ruined the game. At that point. See, they, they basically are like, hey, it's all organic. And then it's like, um, then it was this, what's it, what was it? Um, the honor points. Hey, kill other players in the, in, the, in the world and you'll get honor points. So groups of like 60th level guys were going around on their mounts, killing any enemy they saw. It wasn't organic or anything. It was just murder squads. And it was like, yeah, that's, that's not fun anymore. <laughs> That, that's that's just not fun anymore. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the, the pepper finally ran out. I'll throw pepper on. I'll put pepper in there, too. Uh, I'll get two. Because why not? All right, let's see. Mayo. I need mayo. I oh, Yeah, pepper, and I need the cleaner, too. Do I need the other cleaner? Yes, two of them. Thank you. All right, so let's go with cleaner. One, two, one, two. I already did the tablets. All right, you know, that's nine. We'll just do that. Right, this goes in the back, up here. Oh, and I need, I got one keg. Please tell me there's one spot open. 
Yes, there is. Yes, there is. So I can I can get rid of this. There we go. If they let you if they let you merge it, it wouldn't be a problem, but they don't let you merge it, so it's a problem. Uh, let's see. An attempt two cashiers could be Bob and Billy. I think they were named already. Unfortunately, um, I I forgot. Eve Matrix, you sort of miss EverQuest. I, what did what did you play Eve Matrix? What did you play in EverQuest? Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Please tell me that's going to fit. No, it isn't. Ah, oh, okay. I guess I have to put it here for now. I bought one more than I should have. All right, so how are we doing? Warrior and a Mage. I played mostly a druid when I was by myself, and I played a monk when I was grouping, at least early on. But I was, uh, generally speaking, in games like that, I'm an altaholic. I'll, I want. I got every class to at least level twenty, because it helps you understand. Um, it helps you understand the classes, if nothing else. It was in a, it was basically it was something that uh, the um, it was something that um, a, a live stream gave a name to him. Oh, and I think I also needed where is it the ham, ham and cheese. I'll get two of them. I think I needed shampoo as well. Personally, I am a completionist. I hate leaving games unfinished. I... Paladin. I found Paladin so boring. I just, I paid a dwarf Paladin. The only reason I did that is because I hadn't played in that area. I wanted to play in all the areas, but I found, I just found a Paladin so boring. Because <laughs> you really couldn't heal great and you really couldn't fight great. So I just I just found it very boring. I like the warrior. Whenever I would go into a zone looking for a group, I would go, let me stand between you and death. Uh, let's see. Down there. And down there. Okay, I must, I have miss. I think we named them. Um, I think it might have been the last stream, wasn't it? My friend played a Beastmaster. I like Beastmaster. I think I got a Beastmaster into the 40s. Because it was kind of a... It was kind of a monkey type of uh, a character, so I was able to give some of my monk stuff to him, that old stuff that I didn't need anymore. And uh, I kind of like the pet class thing, too. You know, fighting side by side with a creature. I'm pretty sure I used a lizard for that, the Iskar. So I, I forget, I forget, was it a lizard? Um, was it a lizard pet or something like that? Playing an evil character was fun going into the other area. 
Ashlyn, you still are getting a lot of those uh, messages redacted there. Is that something you're doing? Oh, and yeah, this I need an alcohol run here right now. But here's the thing, towards the end, I actually had, I think it was a 61 Necro. I mean, talk about easy mode. <laughs> a, a, a Necro was just so easy mode. You know, I mean, it, it, at that point, I think the highest I got my monk was to 58. And if I took on something that was gray, I could die. Especially if it was a snake and it had poison. You know, that's in including doing the, the mend, you know, to heal myself. And then I'd end up having to feign death just to stay alive. But then you have the Necro who's basically just killing yellows like they're nothing. Okay, so let's go with this. Uh, I'll do two of those. Two of those. And then I need vodka and I'm doing two of those. All right, so that's an alcohol run. I think some of them just broke. I mean, think about it this way. You had the, the darkness line, which also snared them. Then you had the heat blood line, then you had the other one, which drained life for them and fed life to you. And at the same time, you were using Lich, which means your life was going down, but you were draining life, so it was still feeding you, and it was giving you more mana. Then you could fear them, and then you had like a, road pet, a rogue pet stabbing them from behind. It just It was easy. You could, you could even do two at a time if you wanted to. Um, boom, one, and two. Yeah, they're going for the, they're going for the vodka. Oh, how many vodkas did I do? I have three of them. How many? Why do I have four vodka? And I can't do anything about it. All right, I'm going to have to do this for, until I get rid of it. Oh, I must... Did I do the... No, wait a minute. I didn't do the kegs twice. Okay, I have no idea how I had four of them. But we certainly have a lot of vodka available now, right? All right, let's look around. Okay, I need the brown sugar. Is that the only one that was there? I think it is. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, yeah, I need that. Yep, yep, that's the sugar. All right, so let me see here now. S O O S S O S. Uh, one, two. I probably need one of those, so I'll just grab one anyway. All right, now. One, two. Anything else I saw over here? Let me see. Yeah, I got another one coming for that. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, tuna. I might as well get the tuna. Right, okay, I, I got two of those coming. Oh, the candy. Oh, am I, I can't do two of them, can I? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many candy do I have there? Oh, you know why? Because I bought three before. Yeah, there you go. There, That's it. That's the reason. I was buying a lot of that, wasn't I? Okay, so I do still have some room. Right, I'm buying one of those. Tuna. 
That's the that, that's the eggs, right? Yeah. Buy two of those and then buy twelve by the eggs. Violet, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. You love this game so far. Yeah, I love this game too. This is the part that I don't like though, having to figure out what you have to reorder. I, I they need to come up with a better way of doing this. Uh, there you go. And boom. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Um, that one. Okay, yeah, right. This sugar stuff down here. Candy. One here. Okay, and more candy. Okay, so let's see. Um, the chicken, I think the chicken's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Didn't I? Oh, I didn't buy the eggs because it was too much. Right. That's what I needed. Boom. Bought the eggs. All right, let's just see if there's anything else. Oh, wow. The. Um, the sodas vanished, didn't they? Wow, okay, so the brown and the black one are out. And these other ones need refills too. All right. I gotta raise the prices on those. Because they just keep selling so insanely. Okay, so I need two of those, two of those, one of that, one of that. Right, that's, wait a minute. Oh, and the eggs, right. Here, I'll take the eggs. No, okay, we'll take that one out. Yeah, I'm going to have to raise the prices because they just keep selling like crazy. That's the reason I was keeping two boxes. But even then, they just sell out insanely, and I'm okay with that, but I want to make profit. I wish the little sodas sold as well, or at least had profit to them. They don't. They do not have profit. All right, and that one goes there. And yeah, he's going for the soda now. Uh, that one. And this is the eggs. There we go. Okay, so is there anything here? That I am missing. Um, yeah, actually, um, flour. Flour is looking pretty bad. All right, so I think I need one of each. I need two of each, except for the red one. Oh, and I'm probably going to have a pasta problem. All right, so let's get the flour up. All right, I need two, two, one. Okay, let's look at the pasta. That's the flour. This is the pasta. Uh, is there one spaghetti missing? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Because I want to get rid of this box that just has one in it. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, the other eggs. Or did I buy those before? Oh, I bought those before. Oh, I just didn't see. I thought I bought them. All right, you know what? Leave them there for now. I'll remember it later. Ooh, that's, uh, that sucks. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, right. Pasta. Okay, so over here. I need two of each except the red one.
Zorab, I hope I said that name right. Uh, thank you for stopping by. You really like Supermarket Simulator. Yeah, I like it too. And I guess my viewers like it too because I gave them a, uh, a poll and this one won by a large margin. Uh, but it's all grinding for now. Not this one. Because I, I have to get the 56 in order to uh, get more products. Okay, one of those. One, two, one, two. Boom. Lots of products. All right, so I'm nearly done. Not here. There. All right, let's see. Let's see. It's over here. This one. All right, so let's see. This one right here. All right, that might be it. I don't think there's anything else that I need. It's just the, the refilling, of course. It's really slow. All right. Okay, pasta. Okay, the red one. Um, I should probably get coffees and the teas as well. I mean, it's not like I don't have the money for it. And it's not like they're gonna, they're not gonna sell in the end. Okay, over here. Dum, dum, dum. And we get some elbows going. And close. Okay, I guess he's coming in for the elbows. Okay, so, yeah, okay. I wanted to get two of the light roast, two of the dark roast, and then one of each of the, um, I should probably get two. All right, coffee. Dark roast, dark roast, light roast, light roast. Tea, one, two, one, two, and that's a lot of money. But it will sell, and I'd rather not deal with it for a while. Oh, am I in a bleach again? Oh. Once again, I'm going to have to check the price on that. Oh, yeah, right. I wanted to look at the prices on the, um, the sodas because they just keep selling out ridiculously. I want more money. And then we have the green tea. I'm sure somebody's going to come to life for this one. And there he comes. Uh, there, right there. Okay, so I might as well just get two of each. With the bleach. Uh, you can read my comments on your... Oh, can you read my comment on your Planet Crafter Episode 2 video, please? I can't read it now. So, I mean, maybe you want to give me a highlight of what it is. I probably will go back and read it. But, I mean, if you give me a highlight now... Oh, I can call you ZH. All right, I'll call you ZH. Um... They need to have a position for stock work ordering. I mean, I've mentioned it before. There's things that they could do. You know, one, give me a list because I like lists or make it so that I can just go over to like, where is it? We'll pick, pick like this one right here. And I want to order to fill it up. You know, do you want to order one of each or do you want to fill it? I'm like, I want to fill it. And then maybe my guys could come. Oh, there's still stuff out here. Maybe my own guys can come out and get it for me. You know what I mean? Here they come. All right, and put that in there. All right, I think we might be done. I got chips, not many, but I do have chips. 
I have alcohol, of course. I have extra, I have a lot of extra, um, a lot of extra vodka. All right, let's go take an eyeball look at the way the situation works. All right, we're good. We're good over here. We're good here. Very good there. Right. Right, I got the... We're good with that. We're full there. And of course we have a whole lot of TP. All right, I think we're good, let's go. All right, we're starting 22,647. We did spend a lot on restocking though. Yeah, they do need to work something out because that part is what takes like 70 to 75% of the game. Just figuring out what you're going to buy. So if I could just buy it and maybe even those guys would carry them in. I don't know. Maybe we could make a guy who would do something like that. I don't know. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you said you would never do balloons. Okay, if you mean balloons, you mean... Um, uh, balloons, right? Now, the problem with balloons is that the, the maps become so long. I mean, you know, you're you're there for like an hour and then you insta die. Oh, bills! I didn't say I was going to do bills. I think I think I'm like one day. I think it was one day. Yeah, one day. What's the problem? One day. There you go. One day of bills. Oh, was it? Okay, it was a, again, not it was balloons, not balloons. Balloons. GH remind me Again, why you stop playing? Um, views. <laughs> views. Why? Why did? Why does anybody? Why? Why does any YouTuber stop playing something? The first and foremost rule is um, views. See, they will play something that they absolutely horribly hate if it's getting good views. So. That's that's the reason. I mean, I like the game. I'd like to try it again sometime, but I don't. I don't think it would work out well. No bills left, less to complain about. If only it was that easy in real life. Pardon me. The problem is they expect real money. See, at this point, there's really nothing I can do. Okay, I thought she was coming to kill me or something. I mean, at this point, they're reloading. So the only way this works out bad for me is if there's like a tremendous amount of something or I missed something. So I don't see anything missed. And they do seem to... Oh, right, I wanted to check these prices. All right, why don't we do like 425? Okay, get out of my way. Um, this one can be 395. Okay, this one can be, wait a minute, did I do the right one? Yeah, yeah, this is different. Okay, so this one can be 395. And the one at the bottom can be three ninety-five. There you go. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's too expensive. Well, you know, it's a premium product. Just saying. There's a dumpster out back. Eve Online. No, I have not played Eve Online. Uh, I've heard. I've. I've always been intimidated by that game because, you know, like, the people. Um, they take it so seriously and they have huge mega corporations. And, you know, if you're a new person, 
join us or die, that kind of thing. Yeah, I really like that game. I was so sad that we didn't get the Iron Teeth. I know, I might. You know, the thing about it is it's still in early access. Maybe when it goes live, you know? It's the same thing with um, Slime Rancher 2. At this point, I'm just going to wait until it goes live. Well, here's the thing. I change I change the prices. We'll see what happens. Okay, how are things going? How is the uh sushi? Okay, the sushi's looking good. All right, the tuna's good. The steak, the veal. How is the veal selling? Cuz they remember they 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 messed the price up on that one. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, he was reloading? I, I, I saw an open spot in the, the chicken, and he just dumped it right, right over my head. Yeah, three of those guys was a good investment. They do a lot better than two. What, you mean there's a DLC for um, Timber Timberland? What was it? Timberborn, that was it. Is that the one you said there's a DLC for? I played it. I have to get going. Oh, Ashlyn, I'm, if you got to go, you got to go. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Wait a minute. There's a DLC? It's not live yet. Why would... They, uh, they're not doing an actual DLC, paid DLC, for a game that's still in early access, are they? Because that's just... Uh, yeah, people don't like that. <laughs> Unless the game actually did go live and I don't know about it. That's a long time to play one game. But then again, that's from somebody who has like 1,200 hours in Skyrim VR. How are we doing? We got 9 p.m. and we still have a bunch of people in the store. So let's see how much money we can get. Uh, I'm waiting for my payday and I'm not going till I get myself uh, a Timberborn train. Oh, do they have trains? Right after EverQuest. I played a lot of MMOs. I have still have a special place in my heart for Ashran's Call. Uh, the YouTuber that I speak of Oh, the real civil engineer. Yeah, I've seen his stuff. Real civil, real civil engineer. He he um, he does a lot of games that have that kind of uh, building mechanic to it. I'm just going to jump on the train and play Timberborn. Timberborn is fun. See, it's like everything. There are a lot of games I would really love to play. I was very disappointed that 
I couldn't get an audience for um, um, the Underworld one. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was the modern version of... Um, the modern version of Dungeon Keeper. I forget the darn name of the game now. Like Lord of the Underworld or something like that. Um, then there was also... Oh, I can't remember the name of the game. There's a lot of games. I was like, I really hope that they like this game. And then they don't play it. But then again, that was the same thing with like... You know, Skyrim VR. You can't, you can't, you can't do a series if you're only making 200 views per episode. You know, although I was considering, do I want to try again and maybe get some kind of like, um, you know, this AI Nord picture on the, the the thumbnail to see if that would actually get people to click on the freaking video or not. ZH, you got to go? All right, thanks a lot. Really appreciate you stopping by. Okay, I'll go take a look at uh, episode two, and I'll look for your quote, or your, your comment, I should say. I'm not sure about that. I think that... That's usually, that technique is usually done by guys who like day one, day 100. Does he do that too? Okay, we have 27,000. I'm guessing we didn't make a lot of profit today because, um, because of the, um, the spending we did. Yeah, 400. It was only 400, but we spent a lot of money. Okay, what do we get? Oh, keg went down. But it's only one item, though. That's good. All right, kegs went down. What? How much did they go down? 22? Ooh. Ouch. All right, I'm going to try 25, 45, and see how that works. Oh, I mean, $5 for each one. Look how much space they're taking up. Oh, did these guys sell? I guess it's hard to tell at this point. All right, well, we have 27,000. Let me just pay off these bills. And uh, we're halfway through level 52. So I do have a lot of grinding to do in order to get to... Um, uh, in order to get to 56. Because that's really what I need right now. I need more products. I have a lot of shelf space. I mean, I could squeeze shelves in if I needed the space. But I don't need the space right now. Eve Matrix, he also just received starting during the United Penguin Kingdom. Yeah, I, I, over the weekend, I might start making videos over the uh, the DLC for Hydroneer. Because the thing about it is that, I um, mean, the next thing I might do uh, live streaming, at least maybe, like I said, Monday, I might do uh, House Flipper. Because there's so many jobs that I could just grab some of them and do them, you know? And besides, I, well, I think if we did, I mean, we could try the test DLC jobs too in a live stream, you know? And see if they're any good. Um, but then again, there is one that one DLC one that I do have, which is a bunker. But I'd probably do that in a video. At least I would try to. But I don't know if I I, I want to play Hydroneer. At least maybe we get started with videos or something like that. So I mean, it really depends. I think I mentioned it early on to somebody who uh, asked about it early on, and uh, I, I don't know if you're going to see any more. Um, of the infected. It's uh, not doing great and the views aren't really worth very much. So there's not a lot of motivation to do more of it.
Well, I gave you guys options and you picked this game, which is fine. It just means that we have options. I like having options. If I have options, then that means that, you know, we can do three streams a week, you know? Inverse, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Unfortunately, you may have dropped in at the end because I think that in terms of gameplay, I'm just going to let them walk around for a while and I guess that's probably going to be it. You know, it's already after 10. It's going to take a long time to restock. So, and then we have to run it again. So that's going to be it. Oh, Imperion, really? Yeah, I haven't played that one in a while. I did try that once another time. I tried that. I did four episodes. They did better later, but I mean, early on, they didn't do very well. So I kind of dropped it. I like that game, but the creatures are just so ridiculously overpowered if you they get close to you, you know? It's a matter of like, poof, you're dead. Or you get all these crazy diseases or stuff like that. Oh, for um, Imperion? I didn't really look too much into it. Especially the big crab, the big scorpion things. The big scorpion things are a pain. Uh, I will do another video over the tomorrow, probably. It might be the first thing I do tomorrow, House Flipper. Uh, but then I'm keeping an eye on it because the last one didn't do well. But the last one may not have done well for various reasons. Uh, I'm probably going to try to do like uh, the, the construction one. I might do the one where you have to build the bathroom. I'm hoping that maybe that would take up an episode or something. But I need to be doing interesting things. You know, the last one, it was probably a mistake to do the painting and the cleaning one. Because that's kind of yeah, not very interesting. And I will be turning the roaches off, by the way. Uh, enough people have said that, that um, I will be turning that one off. Here's the thing about Imperion at this point. I think the game is really showing its age. I know that's a terrible thing to say, but I think it really is showing its age at this point. So I think maybe they should be concentrating on a sequel to it or something like that. You know, I actually have Space Engineers, but I haven't tried to play it once, but I just couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I didn't like the fact that they were there, but that's the reason I edited. The, um, I did editing to take them out, but uh, I was thinking maybe some people wanted that, you know, the idea of how bad it is. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take them out because it just doesn't make any sense, and people just don't want that. It's uh, it's not fun. I mean, the first time you run into it, it's a thing, and then you just get rid of it. That's the way that's gonna be. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. So, like I said, are they all done? I think they're all done. Yeah, they're all done. Yeah, I think three is much better than just the two because the two were having problems, especially when one got stuck. Fortunately, they didn't get stuck here. Um, but uh, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for showing up and keeping me company and pointing out things that I was missing, especially with products and such, and uh, keeping things active and happy and... Uh, you know, a good vibe in the environment. Lots of discussions. Good stuff indeed. And um, anyway, like I said, I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out and uh, keeping me company. And um, remember, okay, what is this? Hold it. Mike just jumped in here. Yeah, okay. Um, I doubt there's very many people who are actually, uh, uh, who play the game. But since Mike just mentioned it, I'm going to mention it. Uh, Rise of Cultures. Yes, there's an event going right now, and yes, it's a um, it's a Hercules event with merging. I I'm not doing that. I mean, by not doing that, I'm not saying I'm not doing videos. I'm just not participating in the event at all. I'm ignoring it, and I'm just doing regular Rise of Culture stuff because I have no interest in that event. It works on two. I, event buildings that I have no interest in. Uh, I don't need any more Herculeses, and I am not going to do any of that merging. I just 
hate it. So I'm not doing the event at all. So just because Mike mentioned it, I just felt it was necessary to say that. Anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. So I'd like to thank, once again, I'd like to thank for everybody for keeping me company. And remember, play games because games are fun. Have a great weekend, everybody.